Hello and welcome to another episode of my Derby County Bottom at Christmas Save on Football Manager 2022. Today we face Leicester City in the FA Cup, which is interesting considering I've got a Leicester City playthrough save going on at the same time too, which I recommend you check out and subscribe to the channel. Why not? And we also face Barnsley in the league, which we basically need to win in order to stand a chance of staying up. In the last episode, though, we found out that the transfer embargo had been lifted and we'd been taken over. First in the door, after that, was Jordan Ibe. We signed him on a free. He's not been able to play because he's been injured and he used to play for Derby anyway. Great fun. He played once. Fantastic. Branislav Ivanovic was next in the door. He's been terrible. Three games, 6.23 average rating. We basically have become an old folks home here, um, but he, re he should be good enough. The pace is concerning, admittedly, but everything else, his raw ability is still fantastic. It's not going well for him, though, and it's not going well for us. We signed Giovanni Dos Santos, who I was very excited about, slightly younger than the rest of the signings, other than Jordan Ibe. However, he got injured immediately in his first game. Played one game, delivered an average rating of 6.4. He delivered a rating of 6.4 and he got injured. Um, very good technically. However, we've not seen him play much. Fantastic. Ramirez, former Chelsea man, the Brazilian, has been signed as well. Also not delivering for us. It's it's all gone Pete Tong. Basically, I've signed a load of signings and since they've come in, things have gotten worse somehow. A very, very well-rounded midfielder, I suppose you could say. 34 years of age, experienced. Obviously, experience of winning things and obviously... A very experienced international, but it's not going well for Ramirez. I was very excited when I signed him. Um, it's not going well. Carlos Tevez is playing for Derby County. Yes, he's played for West Ham, Man United, Man City, Juventus, Boca Juniors. And now Derby County. And yeah, it's going badly for him too. Couldn't even give him number 32 because it's already been taken by someone else. And that's probably why he's playing terrible. I'm going to blame that and not my tactics anyway. But he's still very good. There's still somehow got a pace of 11. And it, uh, well, the acceleration's pretty bad. At 38 years of age. It's not turned out how he wanted, though. So far. And the one signing so far that's delivered is this man, Andy Carroll. He's played once. He's scored once. He's number 19. He can't run, but he can head a ball. So th that, that's at least something. However, hmm, things are not going well in the league. Since you last saw... Was it the one... Uh, what was the last game you saw? Honestly, the game against Hull and Middlesbrough. That was the last things you saw. Yeah, we've lost four games in a row. We've not won in ages in the league. It's all gone terribly wrong. Which leaves us adrift by 27 points with just 11 games to go. So yeah, we need to win a game against Derby. However, first we will be taking on Leicester City and the team for that game... Is this, Kalorus keeps his place in goals. Ivanovic is at right back with Stearman, Davis and Forsyth. That's an old back four. A very, very old back four. Bird and Bielik in the middle of the park with Tevez ahead of them, supporting Andy Carroll. And Tom Lawrence and Jozbiak are on the wing. Now we've signed Andy Carroll. We're getting crosses in the box. I've ditched this sort of very defensive style of play. Keep the ball because it's, it wasn't working for us any longer. So this is what we're going with. We've got options on the bench. We're playing Leicester. It's going to be bad. I'm going to going to decide. Yeah, predicting the future now. Amazing things can happen with this Santa hat. All right. You smell like beef and cheese. You don't smell like Santa. Well, this is always a concern. A highlight straight after kickoff. A very very familiar Leicester side, and Pat Sandak has scored. Serves me right for selling him to Borussia Dortmund in my Leicester save. Wow. Oh, this couldn't go more wrong if we tried, really, could it? I mean, how simple was that? Pasadak has got such electric pace, and against our very old back four, he's going to cause us a lot of problems. As you can see, Kelleru stood no chance, despite the fact he's been very, very good lately. Ah, oh, well, this could be very, very, very ugly. Oh, God. And they signed Julian Draxler. What is this? Timothy Castanian on the left-hand side. Uh, it's won by Jozwiak and given away. No, Andy Carroll takes it down. Go on, use your pace, Andy. Yeah, that went well. And Daka feeds Alma Thiago Almada. What is going on with this Leicester side? Yeah, Daka scored twice against us. Um, it's game over. Woo! This will build morale for the Barnsley game, won't it? Oh, God. 
it's all gone, Pete Tong. I thought this was going to maybe run till after Christmas. It, 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 it might not make it that far if we don't win against Barnsley and we're relegated by the time the next episode comes round. Bet you're excited for that. Pat Zendaka, by the way, only scoring in goals containing the number one there. First minute and 11th. And oh, this is the 20, 26th, so it, it doesn't count. He won't score, though. He won't. James Matt, he will score. Oh, he's made me look like a knob, hasn't he? Brilliant. As if I don't look more of a knob already. Enough of a knob already with this hat on and my glasses and it's roasting hot. Oh, this is an absolute shambles. Julian Draxler played it into James Madison. We know how good he can be. And Dra 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 Draxa, apparently. Couldn't miss. Pat and Daka. I'm not feeling very festive. The hat's coming off. Derby have given the ball away once again. It's roasting and Pat Zendak is in behind for his fourth. Puts it wide. <laughs> Idiot, you've embarrassed yourself, haven't you? Oh, this is the 20, 26th, so... It, it doesn't count. He won't score, though. He won't. James Matt, he will score. Idiot, you've embarrassed yourself, haven't you? Oh, no. <laughs> I shouldn't have said that. I should not have said that. It's Harry Potter season, by the way. Every time this this time of year, it's it's Harry Potter all over. I'm telling you, um, it's Pat's and Daka season. I'm pretty sick of him now. I'm not gonna lie. Triple change at half time just because Hutchison, Ravel Morrison, and Jack Stretton on behind Andy Carroll, Tevez, Thomas, and Jerzbiak playing terribly. And by the way, yet somehow, us being down 4-0 at half-time to Leicester is not currently the most embarrassing scoreline. Liverpool losing 2-1 to Newcastle United. It's just gone 2-2. That's fantastic. Oh dear lord. As they look to make it 5. We gave Middlesbrough I think it was... No, who, who, did, who did I play in my last game? I can't remember. I've got that buff. We gave them a 4-0 head start and we've given Leicester a 5-goal head start. So the comeback's on. 6 quick goals and we're right back in it, baby. Now, Liverpool now winning against Newcastle as well. So, yeah, most embarrassing result. Arsenal are down 2-0, though. So And Harry Maguire scored. Right, OK, that's the most embarrassing thing of the day so far, as we have not had a shot on targets. I mean, they are Leicester. They are pretty good, as I well know. Maybe you well know. You should well know, because you should check out my Leicester series. Yeah, that was a disaster. Barnsley, we need to win. I think they're 18th in the league. We might have a chance... But we are Derby, and we are an old folks home now. Stephen Glass has been sacked by Aberdeen, though. Should I just jump ship and go for that job? Wayne Rooney is currently the favourite. Baffling. Ho ho, never fear, for Yuri Zhirkov is here. Second choice, free agent left back. Fabio Contrao didn't get a work permit. Fantastic. Um, I don't even know how good he is. He's determined, so that says a lot more than it does about the rest of the side, to be fair. There we are. There's a slightly better look at him. He's 38 years old and still faster than Branislav Ivanovic. Still pretty good technically and mentally too, obviously. Physically, <laughs> not so much. Should we even play him? What do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. Honestly, at this stage, I'd be as well turning this team into a 30 over only members club. But regardless, this is the side we're going with in a must game, must win game, must game win apparently, against Barnsley, who currently sent 18th, we're 30 points behind them, yeah, we need to win to stand a chance, and hope Coventry don't get any sort of result, Kalarus, Ivanovic, Balik, I put him on a cover defender, because he can, he can't, he can't even run either, God above, what's the point, Curtis Davis, <laughs> Yuri Zhirkov, Max Bird alongside Jason Knight. Since Jason Knight dropped out, things have got a lot worse. So he comes back in. Carlos Tevez behind Andy Carroll with Ravel Morrison and Tom Lawrence in support. Jordan Ibes made it to the bench. So we'll be okay. Let me tell you that. It's, it's gone to pot. It's gone to pot, ladies and gentlemen. And it's a Barnsley side featuring essentially no one I recognise other than Collie Woodrow and Devante Cole, formerly of Motherwell. So there we go. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, this is an absolute must win. I've mentioned it a couple times. Let's see how it goes. Oh, dear Lord. I think since I started signing players, I just sort of upset, upset everything. And, you know, they weren't match fit and they got thrown in immediately because I was desperate for any sort of decent quality. And they've not delivered that. So it's all my fault. I accept the blame 100%. 
I will be blaming it on Brian Slavovanovic if things go wrong today, however. Tom Lawrence on the right-hand side. We've got Andy Carroll waiting in the middle, but we've decided to not bother with that and just cycle the ball. Max Bird into Carlos Tevez. Hit it, Andy. Okay, maybe not. Jason Knight. He's slipped in Tom Lawrence, and we're up 1-0. The great escape is still on, baby. The heart's going back on. We're feeling festive again. We're feeling festive. Hell to the yeah. Okay, that wasn't very festive, was it? In fact, it was actually... Um, Almost blasphemous, really, I suppose, saying uh, that word. But it was a good goal, regardless. We're 1-0 up against Derby. We are Derby. I should just give up. Should have given up a long time ago, mate. Coventry are also winning against Swansea. We essentially have to win everything. They're now drawing. Okay, we need to win basically every game between now and the end of the season. Stand with a chance. That's not going to happen. Yuri Zhirkov's picked up a booking. Oh, dear Lord, the former Chelsea man. Collie Woodrow from range. When, since when was he capable of that? Anyone want to let me know? Any championship fans in the comments? Let me know, please. Goodness me. Uh, I mean, Keller should have maybe done better. It's not even top corner. Bring back David Marshall. That's what I say. Oh, dear, we are in trouble. I'm telling them I'm far from pleased. I'm thrashing my arms about my voice cracked there. So they'll have taken that seriously, I'm sure. Mince pie, sausage roll, come on Swansea and Derby, give us a goal. Sure that'll have worked. Oh, maybe it will. Tom Lawrence in, Bielik heads over. It didn't. I mean, goodness me, Ravel Morrison's been pretty good for us, but 5.9 in a must-win game is completely unacceptable. Jordan I comes on for his Derby debut. Who else performing terribly out there? Tempted to put on Colin Kazim. I'm going to put on Colin Kazim Richards. It's desperate times. Tevez is going up there alongside him on an advanced forward role despite the fact he can't run so much. We'll see. Get him a chance, he'll score, I'd like to think. Get him a chance though, that's the real issue. As there's 10 minutes to go and it's not happened. Come, Dar Darby, we need to, we need to win here. Come on now. Let's, let's not, let's, let's, let's not take the piss here. I mean, let's, let's not take the piss here. I, I certainly wasn't. Well, I think you are. Yuri Zhirkov's coming off, <laughs> having delivered a 6.6 .6 and a booking. On his debut, three at the back, Louis Sibley in behind, hopefully try to create things for the players in front. Uh, we need something desperately. What's this? What's the score in the Coventry game? We don't even know anymore. Oh, this is fantastic. There's no time left. This is an absolute disaster. It's D-Day, for God's sake. Uh... At least we didn't lose. <laughs> oh, we're basically relegated. Yeah, expect to see you all in training. It's a total disaster, ladies and gentlemen. And um, I don't think we can recover from this. I don't think... I think actually thinking for even a second that this was possible was probably a bit silly of me. Um, however, you know, mathematically, still on, providing Coventry basically don't win a game between the end of the season and we win all 10. Seems likely, doesn't it? I mean, considering relegation is essentially almost inevitable now, we be as well coming back in the next episode with Bournemouth and Blackburn, the two Bs. I mean, if we could make it to the Coventry game and still be alive, that would be nice, but I find that highly unlikely. Leave a like on the video if you've enjoyed this, though, and comment down below what you think of my transfer business. I think it's been terrible, personally, but you live and you learn. Subscribe for more for that next episode. Check out my Leicester City save. There's experiments to come, too, so ding that notification bell, and you know exactly when they go live. And um, I hope you have a fantastic Christmas. I don't feel very festive right now, but I'm sure I will do. Thanks very much for tuning in.